Here's some footage of the steel going up in the battery area to show you just how pretty it is. None of this existed two, three days ago. That's just how Texas rolls. So, as they say, you know, don't mess with Texas. Every Gigafactory progress side by side for the second week of April. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Giga Shanghai. Over in the sliver wedge, we can see the darn thing is just about entirely framed up. In the gap in the southeast corner, all of the steel structure has been painted. And moving north a bit to the previous gap between the two buildings, almost all of the frames are up. We still don't know what's going on in this area, but I would guess it's going to be enhanced uh, production support for the Models 3 and Y. And my gosh, is it tall. If you like these videos, please consider subscribing, since it's the only way YouTube knows to show videos like this to people like you who share your interests, and it really helps out the channel. The Eastern Access Bridge and Roadway are looking pretty close to done. The final pavement is in, the road stripes are down, and it's essentially done. I mean, they still have to put in the trees uh, to line the tree-lined boulevard, but as you can see, it's looking essentially finished. The new stamping pit is getting quite close to done, and you can see just how deep these footings go. They basically have all the rebar in, much of the concrete in, and they're just about ready to go. The supporting structures to the sides of them are also essentially framed up. The new building at the northeast corner is essentially done. It's got most of its walls, most of its roofs, and a lot of work inside is already underway. It is my belief, based on comments I have read from previous users, as well as looking at the site in Giga Texas, that this could very well be the 4680 battery production facility. It's got the right footings, it's got the right dimensions, I think we're going to see a lot of batteries coming out of this building for future models Y, perhaps 3, and maybe even the model 2. The extension to the north of the Phase 2 Model Y building is basically done. The loading docks are going in, the roofs are all up, the walls are all up, and it's looking kind of like a snack to me. I don't know what to tell you. It's basically done. It's connected. It's roofed. It's basically got everything it needs. And from here, it's just about interior work. Giga Berlin. As usual, I'm using Tobias Lind's amazing footage from midweek, mostly because I want you to go to his channel and look at his weekend footage, which is much better than this. But from the front of the building, we can see the place doesn't show much progress. All the loading docks are in, all the windows are in, all the fire escapes are in, and it looks to me like all the siding is up as well. This building 
is as close to done from this angle as you could realistically hope for. From here, all the big work is going on inside. At the northwest corner, it's also looking similarly about finished. Most of the walls are up, the loading docks are approaching completion, there's not much to see except the fact that the courtyard is now largely empty. Most of the materials have been brought inside, presumably so they could be installed and prepared for use. At the southeast corner, we can see excavation going on to continue building on the footprint. If I was the people in Berlin and I was in charge of dealing with the permit, I'm going to tell you right now, I'd approve it or at least hasten the process of reviewing it because if Tesla has a choice between expanding into phases two, three, and four in Berlin or moving to another country that's actually going to approve their permits, well, where do you think they're going to go? Don't forget to leave a comment to be entered into the drawing for the monthly merch giveaway and subscribe if you appreciate this content. The switchyard is looking largely complete, which means power can be connected to the building and trial production can begin as soon as the casting area is complete. They have one mega press already installed and another that's in the process of installation now, which we will see in a minute. But I mean, this facility is planning to begin trial production in June or July, officially July. And I think that is absolutely going to happen. Here's a better shot of the southeast corner where you can see the excavation works being done. And yeah, there's a building going in here and I would assume we will see signs of it within the next month. And if I don't talk for a minute, it's not because I don't love you. It's just because you can see for yourself what's going on. Over towards the rail yard, the ground is not only cleared, but they have begun removing topsoil as if to begin construction shortly. This area is believed to be a logistics area or staging area, or basically just even a parking lot for vehicles preparing to be shipped out by train. Giga Texas. The parking lot appears to have more cars than perhaps we've seen in the past, even in the video where I counted each and every one of them by hand. To the far southeast, we can see the area where Joe Tetmeyer believes the cathode plant will be built, has almost all of their swamps removed and the rest of the ground graded and leveled. The switch yard is nearing completion with power lines connected to what appears to be the grid, indicating the site may soon have a full electrification. Across the highway, the leveling continues, though at a slower pace. 
It is rumored that SpaceX may be built over here, or perhaps even the new uh, Tesla headquarters. At the north of the site, there's just too much to mention. The steel frames are going up in the northwest corner, but we'll get to that in a minute. In the northeast corner, so many wall panels have been installed, which has allowed us to start tracking interior space on the weekly Giga Texas Math Tracker. The final roofs are going up with a lot of uh, insulation, weatherproofing, and even transitional grades to allow runoff to move seamlessly from one portion to the next. Additional massive steel drainage pipes are being installed along this eastern perimeter. And this building, as complete as it looks, is mostly empty, though on the ground floor, many, if not most, of the robots have been installed. No need to skip forward if you aren't interested. Just look at the videos on the screen. But a quick thank you to my Patreons who get early access, bonus material, an ad-free experience, and keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. You guys keep this stuff in motion, and I thank you. So welcome to Hank Baskin at the cool level, Ron Babcock at the very cool level, and Chris D, who upgraded to the very cool level, very cool. At the southeast corner, most of the roofing work has been put in place. The final roofing work, as in glue, insulation, insulation, a third layer of board, and then the weatherproofing membrane atop it. If you're watching the weekly Giga Texas Math Tracker Update series, which I kind of think you should, it's going to be a big one this week, as you can probably tell just by looking at this video. In the Southwest Prairie, a footing work has continued apace and is moving along reasonably well. Not as fast as we've seen in the past, but, you know, we're kind of running out of places to put them. This main central corridor that runs up the middle, which at one point was considered by me, others, including Joe Tetmeyer, to be a place where a loading bay could perhaps be located, we now realize it probably isn't. Joe Tetmeyer has it on good authority from a surveyor that this area will soon be getting footings as well. Moving up to the western building, we can see that it has moved southward in terms of its entire structure. Substantially more roofing is on the building, and it has even expanded to the southeast of it, down to the line of the rest of it, with more frames still moving further south, and substantial steel on the ground ready for imminent erection. Nearly all of this building, at least what it looked like a week ago, now has its first layer of roof coverings. Moving to the northwest corner, where the battery plant is going to be located, we see a lot of progress. The steel is going up just as quickly as we expected it would once the footing concrete finally cured. You can see it's moved out by two, three, and if you watch today or tomorrow's videos, much further, four and beyond, squares towards the north, with so much steel waiting, this is going to be the big area for this week. Substantial work continues on the interior of the paint shop, which is dead ahead in the middle of the frame. It's the northern part of this building, and it's just a moving a so darn quickly. Thanks, as always, to the amazing Jeff Roberts for allowing the use of his drone footage. Jeff, I love you, buddy. I love you, man. And if you don't know Jeff, or you don't love him, 
you know what? Head over to his channel and show him some love. Heck, you could even tell him I sent you. Be a little weird, but I mean, whatever. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the spring side of the spring. That's a thing. In closing, here's some footage of the steel going up in the northwest corner, the battery area, to show you just how pretty it is. None of this existed two, three days ago. All those frames are brand new, and by the time you see this, it will already be woefully out of date. That's just how Texas rolls, so... As they say, you know, don't mess with Texas.